We are installing a rain barrel. Uh, we have a 140 gallon steel rain barrel. They're, they're locally made in Dripping Springs, Texas. We also get a rebate from City of Austin for um, catching rainwater and saving it, using it on the property. We also have an issue with our gutters. Um, this corner here collects a lot of rainwater off of our roof um, and it actually um, goes into our neighbor's yard. So the rain barrel is going to help us conserve water and also going to help us with some um, runoff problems. This is the area of the yard where we wanted to put the rain barrel. It was already collecting a lot of rainwater from the gutters that would just gush out. We put some limestone rocks in the back to secure the back, and then we added some decomposed granite and some masonry sand and began to um, make sure that it was level. We also wanted to keep in mind that the spigot at the bottom of the rain barrel needed to have some clearance. After that, we did some measurements. We moved the rain barrel over to make sure it would fit. And we decided to get some 12 by 12 inch pavers so that it would have a really solid um, ground to, to sit on uh, with all the weight of the rainwater. It was gonna be really heavy and we didn't want it to sink into the sand. So we put some pavers down and we were ready to move on to the PVC. Here's where I enlist the help of my husband so I can project manage and he can do some of the dirty work. We need to build the overflow system far away from the tank. The rain barrel comes with an overflow at the top. So when the rain barrel fills up with rainwater and any excess rainwater will have somewhere to go, it will just spill out that overflow. But we need to move our overflow about 30 feet away, away from our foundation and our neighbor's foundation. So we built a little PVC system out of a couple elbows and some pipe. If you don't need to move your overflow rainwater that far away from the tank, consider building a little rain garden right at the base of the tank. This is a cool landscape feature, really easy to make. Uh, you just form like a basin in your ground, like about two feet deep. It's usually planted with native plants that don't mind having soggy roots for a while after a heavy rain. And it will allow the water to slowly seep into the ground rather than rushing off here in Austin, we need to do everything we can do to keep stormwater on our property. Now it's time to work on the gutters. We had to extend the gutter so that it would reach right over the top of the rain barrel. We also put a cap on that gutter so that it would keep the water from shooting out like a fire hydrant into our neighbor's yard. We cut a hole in the end of the gutter where our new downspout would go. And then we used self-tapping screws to screw the sheet metal into the other gutter. We decided to cut the downspout so that it would sit um, flush on the gutter and not slide all the way through. And then we use some glue to hold it all in place. You can see the downspout is kind of wobbly. If we just left it like that, during a heavy rain, it would probably move around a little bit and we might miss some of the rainwater into that intake on the rain barrel. So we made a little strap and we connected the downspout to the strap which will hold it steady. Well it rained the next day so we got to see the rain barrel in action. Everything looks great. We're gonna get a hose to hook up at the bottom there. I hope you guys go out and capture your own rainwater and use it in your gardens.